Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. Nice cloudy day, low humidity. You know those great days for working out in your garden. And so it's now beginning of July and the garden has been, the plants have been flourishing and thriving out there in the garden. And below me, below the pond there is my pumpkin patch area where I grow my different vining plants like my pumpkins, some melons, acorn squash. I also am growing some blue hubbard squash. And I have here in front of me my my uh, garden journal that I always encourage gardeners to keep record of when you plant things out in the garden, the mistakes you've made, so you can correct them next year. But it's really something I would encourage you to, to do and to have throughout from season to season. But anyhow, it shows here that I direct sowed some Blue Hubbard squash here Monday, May 2nd. And so I thought we would go take a a tour of my and see how my blue hubbard squash are doing today and so follow me along and let's go take a look at these plants And so these Blue Hubbard squash plants are below the pond. And let's cross this little walk bridge up here. And so down below the pond here I have some, I have four raised planter beds that I repurposed out of picnic tables. Actually I did, re one of them I had repurposed a, a toy box that I had made for my daughters years ago. And so down below here, and I also uh, water these plants from my pond. I have a utility pump that I submerged into the pond, and I have a hose here that I plug it into an electrical source. And then this is how I water these plants is, is from my pond. And so these planter, these these were the ones that were repurposed from some picnic tables I had, and they've really worked out nice. It's, it seems like your melons, you know, they like to have to be in mounds of dirt or, or in raised beds. These have always thrived down here. And this area down here, they have plenty of room to spread out. And those pumpkin vines and acorn squash vines, they get 8 to 10 feet long. And so they need a lot of room to spread out. And even these Blue Hubbard squash, they, they also get huge. And so this is the the improved Blue Hubbard squash plant right here. And it's really starting to take off real nice. And I just love these Blue Hubbard squash. They, you know, they're, they're huge. And so you really get a bang for your buck when you, you plant these. And so they're, you know, they also store nice over the winter. And so let's take a little closer look. You see how they're growing. You can see the, there's some bees in there pollinating the plant. And they're just a beautiful plant. I also have some, some uh, butternut squash growing right here. And so I would encourage you to think about growing some either butternut squash if you haven't or even the, the uh, Blue Hubbard squash is a, a fun plant to grow. They're, they're almost the size of a large pumpkin. Uh, when they're finished growing and so I look forward to harvest time uh, doing a, a video on that. And so anyhow I just want to thank you for joining me today out here on my garden update on the improved Blue Hubbard squash plant and like I said earlier let me encourage you to think about growing some in your garden if you have the room because it's always fun experimenting 
with different plants. You know, these only cost me under $2 for a pack of these. And so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. So I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.